everybody, welcome to Chop On This. Today is all about cocktails. I'm really excited to share this recipe with you guys because I am using St. Germain liqueur. I started a little love fest with St. Germain about a year ago. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It has a floral taste to it, but it's not overpowering. It really tastes delicious in cocktails. <laughs> Using St. Germain vodka, we're gonna make a strawberry puree. I'm gonna use some cucumbers and a little bit of sugar. In case you don't know what St. Germain is, it is an elderflower liqueur. And what elderflowers are, they're these cute little teeny white flowers that are grown in the French Alps during the spring and summer months. You guys can grab all of the ingredients and measurements below. Go ahead and get started by making a strawberry puree. Now puree is super simple to make. You're taking fruit and you're basically mashing it up. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar to sweeten it up a bit. The elderflower liqueur is already sweet, so I don't wanna add too much. Nothing but fresh goodness. Again, you're just mashing the fruit. Kind of creating like a strawberry paste. If you don't have an immersion blender, you guys can use a blender, you can use um, a food processor. I think they have, you know those little teeny weeny food processors? That would be ideal because obviously you're not making a whole lot. If you're making bigger batches, then yes, use a food processor. I'm adding sugar after I mash the fruit because I don't want it too sweet. And I can always add sugar where if I do it at the beginning and it's too sweet, I can't obviously take it away. Look at this. <laughs> That's how simple making puree is. Mm. Again, it's just crushing up the fruit. You're really bringing out the sweetness and all the yummy flavors. Okay, now it's time to make the cocktail. The first thing we're gonna do is muddle up some cucumbers. Now you guys, when you're muddling up cucumbers, you want to make sure to remove the skin and the seeds inside. The skin and seeds both contain a lot of tannins and a lot of times when you're using cucumbers, you're using cucumbers because you want the fresh, clean essence of the cucumber. Okay, so just removing the seeds. I'm gonna put them in my cocktail shaker. Take your muddler, you guys, and you're going to lightly twist. Again, I'm just going for the clean essence of the cucumber. Sometimes I see people with a muddler and they're like, hur, hur, hur. we're not trying to beat the cucumber to death. I'm using a cobbler shaker. There's three different kinds of shakers. There's the cobbler shaker, which is this one right here, and it usually comes in three pieces. You have your tin, and then you have the screen, which goes like that, and then you have the lid. There's also a French cocktail shaker, um, which is two pieces, and there's also the Boston shaker. This is good for when you're at home. I'm gonna go ahead now and add one part of the Saint Germain, and I'm gonna add two parts of vodka. You can use regular vodka, you could use Vanilla vodka, you could use citron vodka. Ooh, grape vodka. That would probably be delicious. Add some ice. You've got everything in your tin ready to go. You're gonna put the lid on, which, which also doubles up as a strainer. The top that goes on top of the strainer, on top of the lid. You can shake it however you want, but the one thing you wanna make sure to not do is shake it so hard that you start breaking the ice cubes because then that will water down the drink. So you wanna keep the ice intact. You shake with one hand, shake it with two hands. Hold it like this, hold it like this. Behind the back, however you want. But you wanna make sure that the liquid inside is going around the ice because the whole point of a shaker is to really chill the cocktail. All right, so this is what we're gonna do next. We take some of the strawberry puree and we're just gonna put it at the bottom of the glass. Now we're gonna take our cocktail 
great for the about the cobbler shaker is that it does have a screen. So everything that's inside that doesn't fit through these little holes is not gonna come out into your drink. I wanna garnish it with a little bit of fresh mint. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen this when you're at a bar. The bartender garnishes your drink with a fresh herb. And they take the herb and they smack it. This is already fragrant, but when you smack the herb, it actually releases more flavor. And it just, it smells so good. <laughs> and then I'm gonna lay it right on top. Have a finished product. It's time for the best part of the show. The tasting. <laughs> mm. This is a good mix. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe. You can share it. You can tweet it. I'll see you guys next week.